time to help you lovely viewers decide if there is a new wild refill deodorant scent that you will like. I have done a ton of videos and um, they'll all be listed up here now, a playlist, and down below in the description. So sit back, make yourself a drink. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I'm gonna like these ones. You are the first to see this. Three scents that they have kindly sent me. Ooh, number one. Personal smell that it reminds me of. Just follow me here. If you have ever gone to a French market and you have smelt those kind of Marseille soap blocks and it has that really clean, soapy, fresh linen smell. Um, you wouldn't smell it and say like it's linen, but it's like washing powder, like a familial scent really, really nice, and then really lavendery, but it kind of has that almost like milkiness of olive oil, but without that sort of greenness to it. Hopefully that makes sense. If you're cringing watching this, I'm cringing saying it. So I'm just telling you what I think it smells like, okay? This just smells pure, smells like you've never done anything wrong in your life. If you get a brand new set of pajamas and that makes you happy, or you're watching this, and sometimes at the weekend, the thought of going to like TK Maxx or Dunelm or anywhere you go and you see the candles or you see the blankets or you see a new set of pajamas, maybe they're Disney, maybe they're not, and that gives you any sort of joy. And just to check that you like lavender laundry powders or that kind of like cozy scent. I don't mean it's warm, it's very fresh, but that kind of like fresh towel linen scent. You will 100% love this. And if not, that is the most confident description of someone that I feel would enjoy this. <laughs> if you agree with that, or if you relate to any of that person I've made up, it's also me, so I'm not throwing shade here, let me know down below. Crap on my hand, because I just did an unboxing of a Fairby. I'm guessing watching this video, you have absolute no interest in watching it, but maybe you were around the time, maybe, or you know of them, uh, I unboxed a 1998 model of a special edition that they only, only made 36,000. So I'm probably going to look on the analytics and everyone's going to drop off at this point. But, you know, hopefully you're my day ones. Sage and eucalyptus. I'm leaning back in my chair. This is a good sign. This is beautiful. Also, if you'd ever like me doing an ASMR one, just let me know because I want to be doing more content. This is really nice and I'm trying to, this is not going to be as vivid as like a character assassination. Probably shouldn't say that word on YouTube. This is beautiful. This is very, 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 very inoffensive. This would suit absolutely anybody. This is not strong, by the way. I'm just going to say that out there. So this wouldn't be my absolute go-to. And you may think, oh, he's got a code. He does videos on this. He benefits in some way. Yes, I do if people use my code, but I also don't love all of them. So I really do strive to help give the best advice I can because we can't smell these in shops. So hopefully it does help you guys out. This has that sort of almost Vicks Vapor Rub freshness. Reminds me a bit of like a swimming pool, that changing room freshness smell. It has a really, really, really delicate note of sage. It is not strong at all, but that could also just be because I'm gonna, oh my gosh, I'm actually doing this. I'm gonna swatch a deodorant on me. If I've ever hit a low point, I think this is it, but hopefully it'll help you. So not strong. It is just fresh. It's clean. Deodorant linen smell as we're used to. Incredibly unisex, almost aftershave-esque. So if you like those fragrances that kind of go into that realm of like an aftershave, typical scent. I don't mean like the strength of it. I mean in terms of like those notes like aquatic, marine, if you liked thunderstorm. This is what helps as well with the range getting bigger. If you liked the aloe vera and mint, this is really going to test my knowledge. If you liked the cotton and sea salt but it was too strong but you kind of liked how it had those more almost masculine like freshness tones, like again like cologne or aftershave smell, you would really like this because it's, it's that but it's not as intense and it's definitely more fluid and kind of like milky. But definitely like vanilla-y but not sweet and then a bit of vapor rub cleanliness vibe. So if you were wanting something like after a workout or you wanted something in summer but you didn't want it too clashy with your fragrances or you wore like really light floral crispy fragrances, this would 100% go well with it. 
I don't wear this, but I already know if you wear anything like Issey Miyake, Kenzo, Marc Jacobs, and probably a thousand other ones, but these are just the ones that come on my head, uh, come to my head, this will go perfectly with them. Come on, Daisy. Next, stand under together some purple rain. That's the song. It's not copyrighted, I don't think. Ooh. It's giving lush store, but not the sweet lush store, but with that almost oak moss, earthy, deep, patchouli esque. This is kind of rock and roll, very fresh. It's like the punk rock version of this one. When I mean punk rock version, I mean like mainstream pop punk Avril Lavigne. Okay, so we're not talking Metallica getting my tongue out while I'm applying this. It's still, you know, still mainstream. Yeah, really like this one. They're very unique. This this wouldn't be my favorite. This is the first ones that I've smelt together that they're all really similar. It's like a palette of, they've sat down, they, I mean, these, the creators, have kind of sat down and just said, I'm hypothetically guessing, you know, I want something that's after Christmas, we're going to spring, we want everything to be unisex, we want everything to be really fresh and uplifting and light, but not too strong. Maybe we're sick of all those kind of strong, heavier fragrances over autumn and winter. We need kind of like a new venture into something lighter and something more cheery. These are like eau de toilette when I mean like a mist. It's not too strong, it kind of goes with everybody, it just smells clean. Every single one of these has that sort of fresh towel after you've worked out, you feel great, you feel nice and clean, you feel really fresh, which to be honest is actually what most people, well, it's what everyone wants from a deodorant anyway. However, what I like about many brands, but especially Wild because of how eco-friendly they are, I like when they play around and they kind of make a deodorant, especially ones that I've reviewed, that I'm like, I would wear this as a perfume. These smell more functional. So these would be great as gifts for someone if you know they use Wild. It would be great for you if you want to compliment more this time of the year, for Mother's Day maybe. Well, for gifting, it can be for anything. But yeah, really nice. Out of the ones of these I would rank, it would be Linen and Lilac first, Purple Rain second, Sage and Eucalyptus third. I'm saying third because it's not last, even though it technically is. It's because it's not strong enough for me, but that doesn't mean to say that you wouldn't like it. If you've watched my other videos, you definitely see that I not only lean into stronger fragrances or like the more gourmand sweet kind of candy tones, I like full on dive in, swan dive, I go full in. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope this review was helpful and gave value to you. That's the biggest thing that I want to do with my channel, whatever I film, long or short form. And I hope this does help. So if you have seen these on the website, <laughs> If you have seen these on the website and you're running out of a deodorant and you're kind of thinking, mm, I really do want to try it, then yeah, I do love this. I actually gave my mum my last spare refill that I had, which was the Amber and Oud. Yeah, that's love. I'm next going to use Linen and Lilac and this thankfully came at the right time that I can actually use this right away. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please do take a look at my previous videos that I've done on the Wild playlist. I've also reviewed many of the shower gels um, and many of the things that I've reviewed are the collections that are always there. These are limited time only, so they're kind of the seasonal fragrances, but some of the other ones like the pomegranate, the aloe vera and mint, which everything is on like half price at the moment. And then also I asked someone to check for me, you get 20% off something that's already on sale. It's also Valentine's Day soon. They have a new rose fragrance coming out. They have a new shower gel case, which has hearts on it. It's actually my favorite deodorant case from last year that I bought myself and obsessed with it. So that is the next thing that I'm gonna buy 100%. Um, but anyway, I will see you in the next video and take care of yourselves. And number one rule, if you do use my code or these were useful for you, please do let me know what you do think. Are my depictions accurate? 
Um, do you think they do smell like that? Which did you go for? Which do you think I would like as well? Hopefully you're getting to know a bit more about me as well. Yeah, and if you need any advice whatsoever, just comment down below and I'll um, write your message back.